did not know that there would be this many people here today, or I would have I took a sick day, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Don't do it. Let, me, let me say first and foremost that um, anything that I know about um, love, compassion, kinship, standing and togetherness, um, I've learned here at Homeboy Industries from the people that help shape this place. Um, so um, if you're standing here in this room today, you're very fortunate to be here. If you're anything like me, life has been a bit of, of a struggle. And you came here to Homeboy Industries seeking a better life, maybe some love, compassion, kinship, and peace of mind are also part of the reason that you're here. Maybe you've come here because you need help, or maybe you've come here to be that help for someone who needs it. Or maybe both. You could have discovered while you're here that you found the help you were looking for and in the process realize that you can help someone as well. Either way, you're here and you're blessed. I can't help but look into the crowds and notice the empty spaces in between us where a homie that is no longer with us would have been standing if he were here today. Because you know just as well as I do that life gets hard and sometimes the decisions that we, that we make lead to devastating consequences. At least that's been my life story. But again, if you're standing here today, what it means is that you have another chance. A chance to make things right, a chance to love, a chance to be compassionate and stand in kinship with those who love you and are loved by you. My honest truth is that I really don't know where I would be if G didn't decide to stay here with us in our city. I'm truly grateful for my life today. Um, those of you that know me know that uh, my life's been a struggle. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't think anybody is. Um, but um, I think um, I think that that this place that we're standing in today is um, is a beautiful place. Um, it's been my home. Um, I grew up here. I became a man here. Um, just like I said, I learned how to love be compassionate, stand in kinship with people here. Um, I knew nothing of the sort before um, I met G, and that's the truth. Um, people here have been um, a constant reminder of um, who I am today, because when I look at you, I see myself, your reflection of who I am. Um, another thing is, like, if you look around the room, everybody might look different, you know? But if, if, um, if I say, have you ever felt pain, raise your hand, um, everybody's hand is going to go up, you know? And that's the common denominator that we, you know, the, the one thing that we have in common is um, that we all have struggled. And um, it, it hasn't been easy, but um, I've learned how to love myself today. I might not be all the way there, but I do like who I am today. Um, Anybody who knows me knows that um, just a year and a half ago, I was on Skid Row, once again, um, shooting heroin into my veins to, to try to find some, some type of way of escape. Um, but um, I don't know, I love my life today. You know, I, I wanna live. Um, I have kids, I have grandkids, you know, that, that look up to me and, um, and see a different person, and, and I'm happy with that. Um, so, I, like I said, when, when I began this, um, if you're standing in this room today, you're, you're very fortunate, you know, especially if you come from a place like I come from, you know? Um, but before I end this, I just want to read off some of the names that are, that are the vacant spaces in between us, the people that didn't make it here today. Um, so it's uh, Moreno, Fabian, Colosio, Trey, Matt, Largo, Soy Sauce, Jermaine, Eric, Creeps, Tubos, Magoo, Raquan, Devin, Eddie, and Gumby. Uh, this small list of homies represents just a few of those spaces in between. Um, homies we've lost to the struggle, and if you're standing here this morning, you have another chance to fight.